Hey there, Tom here. Just thought I'd record my day. Uh, I've just got up and I'm just having a nice cup of tea. So cheers. And uh, what I'm doing now is I've got some orders to post. Uh, I've done some already, just some of the things I've sold on eBay. Uh, the first one is the First World War thing coin, two pound coin, sold that on eBay. Uh, it's in quite nice condition, so that's why I decided to list it on there. Uh, and then I sold uh, Half-Life on the PS2. Ones I've also got packaged, I sold a kid's storybook, a brand new and sealed one. I've got multiple quantities of. Uh, and then an Age of Empires game. Uh, so I'll get them packaged. Um, oh, and then I sold this as well. Um this is an Amazon order. Uh, my French coach. It's brand new and sealed. So uh, I've got a few of those. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll get those packaged and then I'm going to jump in my car and hopefully I'm going to buy some stuff. Um, I've got a contact that I've known for years and years and um, he buys bits off me and um, then, I, you know, we do kind of like a trade quite often where sometimes there's no cash involved. We do a swap almost. So sometimes he's had PC games off me uh, and that swapped me for brand new and sealed CDs. So I'm going to go and look at some CDs today. So, uh, yeah, we'll get these packaged, get to the post office, take some cash out just in case. Uh, and then drive to, it's like the other side of Derby, going more towards um, like Ashby de la Zouche, that kind of way, sort of down towards uh, Leicestershire. So, yeah, let's jump in the car and we'll get on the road. Right, so the post is done, dropped off, um, and uh, I've travelled into Derby. It's taken me about half an hour. Uh, I've just stopped off because um, I'm not sure why I've stopped here. Uh, I might pop in there for a bit of lunch. Um, uh, probably not a good idea for my diet, but uh, yeah, so I'm a little bit early over here. So I've just got to go to sort of the other side of Derby now and uh, go around this guy's house. I've dealt with him before, he's always had some good stuff. Uh, so yeah, taking some money out and uh, yeah, we'll go and see, see what we can... Um, find over there i don't think he's gonna let me film i will ask him uh but he's a guy who does car boots and stuff so i think he wants to keep things a little bit low key um so yeah let's see what we can get right so i'm back home now unfortunately uh the guy didn't want me to film which is fair enough i completely understand that um and then uh i, I had to just get back get back home because it was getting to be rush hour so uh I'm <clears throat> back home now, and uh, this is what I bought, this bag here. So I spent £140 on what's in this bag. Um, so I think I've done good. Uh, the main thing I went for, basically, this is all uh, brand new, pretty much all brand new CDs. But the reason why I went is because he got a load of these, which... Um, are cassette tapes and you think tom why are you buying cassette tapes well <clears throat> these are metallica ones and it's the uh, the black album remastered the reflection probably won't be able to see anything but they came out <clears throat> 2021 um and that's i think there's seven of them i've got yeah, there's four there Two, three. Yeah, there's seven of seven of them. There's another two there. And one there, so seven. Um and he wanted three quid each for these. Um so that's fine. And the new and sealed there's there's one that's got little rip, but that's fine. And uh, I've been putting these on eBay, there isn't a listing on Amazon for them. Uh but looking at comps, um <clears throat> they're selling for about £20 each. So my money, well, before fees and postage, my money's back, is back for the most part, just in that. So all of that is really, you know, you could argue free. Um, and this sort of stuff is it's bread and butter. It's kind of stuff that I'll sell 
uh, on eBay, great Christmas presents like Red Hot Chili Peppers. I've got, there's multiples, like, it's just a, basically got a big tub of CDs. It was all, um, I think it's like overstock. I really want to get into that sort of thing a bit more. Uh, a lot of it is um, like 2021, 20, 2022, 20, you know. So I think probably because of lockdowns and stuff, the shops ordered too much of it and it's now hitting the market. So it's quick, quicker selling stuff. And basically he buys it at a pound a unit and he sells it to me at two pound a unit, which is fine. I mean that for brand new and sealed stuff. There was some used stuff in there. But the reason why I like it is because he lets me cherry pick. So I literally went through and scanned and the minimum price on these, if it's a popular one, I'll do like six ninety nine free post. So I'm making £1.50, £2 on it after postage. It, I mean, I've tried to get ones like these Digipack ones, which are thinner because they'll go under 100 grams. Uh, but I have picked out some ones. There's some compilations like Now Number Ones. You know, these sort of things are great Christmas presents, so I need to get them on quickly. Uh, some, uh, I've so, I've just sold one of these on eBay, actually. Abba Vo Voyage, uh, Abba's first new studio album in 40 years. So, again, per perfect Christmas presents for eBay. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm gated on Amazon for new CDs, so I... I, I I, I don't really there's the odd one I'll be able to put on Amazon but for the most part it's uh it's going to be eBay uh, and as well some of them for eBay like this one uh Phil Collins the singles you can see it's got a giant crack down the front so unfortunately I have to sell this as like like new um but still you know someone could get themselves a nice little deal there because the discs inside are fine you just need to change the case I mean I, I'm half tempted to do a change the case and but I think I'll just sell it, sell it like that. Um, but for two quid, I mean, it's a no-brainer, really. And, and there's multiples of said things. Oh, and there's a random Blu-ray, uh, Evil, Season 1. He threw that in. Uh, but I'm, I'm probably going to watch that. And then I think that's going to CEX, because uh, they're paying better than what I'd sell it for on eBay. So yeah, I'm really pleased. I mean, some of it's damaged. You know, you've got like um, this sort of stuff. So it's either overstock or damaged. So again, I'd have to sell that as like new on eBay. But that's fine. You know, people will still buy it. So I've done really well on CDs lately. Uh, I'm trying to get more contacts in that world because especially what I like is you've got like the, the sort of what I like is that, um, especially if it's new, you don't have to like apologise for it. And when you've got stuff that's popular, like you've got, I've got like this load of Bowie ones in there. Abba, I'm sure there was, um, yeah, just yeah, there's all sorts. But there's loads in there so i was really happy with that i'm going to go through it all i won't show you it all because it'll bore you to tears but some of it i've already got in stock as well because i've bought off this guy before so i'll just need to go into the listing and just change the quantity so it's an even easier list i mean i'm sure this red hot chili pepper ones i've got already listed so yeah and you know it's it's one of those things yeah okay you're competing against quite a few people but I think with Christmas coming up, they, they'll half of those will go probably before Christmas if I can get them listed today, or at least half of them listed tonight, something like that. So I think, let me think. Um, so I'd say I'm probably going to make, I'd, the minimum is like seven quid, and then some of them will go up to like 15 quid. So I'm going to make probably three times my money back, I'd say, after fees. I'm going to make about, say conservatively, I'm going to make probably 200 quid on it. Say there's 300 pounds worth there, something like that. 160 to 200 quid worth of profit. That's conservatively. And they should go fairly quick because, the you know, most most of them, I'd say 90% of them are from the last couple of years. 
So, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I mean, you know, a lot of competition because there is obviously a glut of this sort of stuff on the market. I've seen it at car boots and people selling them for a fiver each, four or five pounds each. But, yeah, so there you go. So that's a, <clears throat> a bit of a little pickup, really. Um, I've not been buying at all. I don't need to. I, did, I didn't need to buy this, but I thought before Christmas, you know, it, that's going to fly out. So... I'll list this and then it's back to listing uh, the stuff from my unit. And then after Christmas, realistically, it's going to be after Christmas. I'm going to be getting some job lots sorted to sell off to uh, some other sellers because I, I ain't going to list it. Anyway, hope you're doing good. Hope this is interesting. Uh, try and put a bit more reselling related content out there. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.